Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, this is Staff Gymnasium, home of the Brockton Boxers, and right here, right now, is the game that determines who goes up against the BC High Eagles in the finals of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, Charlestown Brockton went against it. Uh, right here last year in the finals of the holiday tournament. Charleston is a team that cannot be taken lightly. No, they can't. They're a very fast team, very quick, and, Brock, and I think they'll match up well with Brockton, so Brockton has to come out here with their A game if they want to meet uh, BC High in the championship. Karan Harris over to Demarge Taylor. Over to Nabil Ferbler in his very colorful shoes. Ferbler to Taylor. Taylor turns it over to the Townies. Number three all the way in off the glass, no good. Etanosa Kunbor comes down with the rebound. Charlestown is wearing their away gray jerseys, blue and red trim, a very slick look for the Townies. Oh yeah, very nice jersey, very slick looking on warmups they had on to also. Karan Harris laying it off the glass and in. Yeah, nice little backdoor play right there. Brockton is wearing their home white jerseys, red and black striped down the side. The boxer head on the short leg. Errant pass out of bounds, Brockton takes over. Yeah, it looks like Brockton started off with a man-to-man -man defense along the same with the uh, Charlestown. High team, they, they're playing man to man, it looks like. Nabil Ferbler with it, down to Karan Harris. Now Etinosa Kumbo working his way closer to the basket, stops, pops, no good. Charleston comes down with the rebound. That is number 23, Tyreek Phillips. Ooh, nice block there by the boxes. Charlestown resetting their offense and with a short floater was Sadat Arroyo. Okay, nice shot in the paint by Arroyo. Abu Kaba with it now, out to Ferbler. Yeah, Charlestown playing some good defense inside the paint. Nowhere to go but back outside to the guards. Etanosa Kumbor with a wild shot and it finds its way to the bottom of the net. Yeah, funny shot when he went to the basket. All of a sudden he went away from the basket. Kind of a fall away shot. Somehow put it in. Turnover for the boxers. Ron Harris working his way inside. Rather that was Demarge Taylor off the glass and in. Yeah, nice. Six to two the score, Brockton on top. Nice job by Taylor to decide to go right into the, right into the basket. Made the easy two. Sadat Arroyo, number five for three is no good. And Brockton coming back with the rebound. That was Anacel Poriet, one of the returning names from last year. Yeah, Brockton getting down really quickly with the basket. E.T. with it, he gets it out to Taylor, up for Ferbler. Ferbler working his way inside, has it swatted away. And Charles down back the other way. Poriet stopping underneath is called for the travel. Good defense there by Etinosa Kunbor. Yeah, he was trying to fool the defender by um, faking it, but he moved his feet and he was faking, faking going up for the shot. Abu Kaba with some trouble breaking the press. E.T. all the way in, tried to dunk it, was fouled midair, and will be at the line for a very painful two shots. Yeah, it seemed like if you might see it here on the replay, if he would have just went right at the basket. Well, he did, but just a good defensive play. He was in the air for a long time. Hitting his first attempt, seven to two, boxers on top. 
nice to see the first Brockton free throw to go in. That's one of the Achilles heels. They haven't been too good at uh, free throw attempts yet in this early part of the season. One for two at the line was E.T. Arroyo with it all the way in. His attempt was no good. Abu Kaba coming down with the rebound. Kaba driving his way in, gives it to Atenosa Kunbor with the one-handed floater is good. Yeah, I think Kunbor a little surprised he had the shot, but he took advantage of it and just floated it right in while he was standing in the paint. Arroyo was fouled by Abu Kaba. Yeah, it was definitely a body foul by Abu Kaba. Kaba makes up for the foul by coming up with the steal and laying it up, no good. Able to tap the rebound to Atenosa Kumbor who lays it up and in. Yeah, Kumbor, nice hustle out there. Yeah, Charles, Hard. excuse me, Matt, Charlestown High coming in here with a four and one record. So. It isn't like they're pushovers. Brockton, on the other hand, one and two. One of those losses was to BC High. Yeah, I mean, Brockton played a, some tough teams right off the bat. Again, this Brockton High team is basically new to each other. And they've got to get used to each other early on in this season. Hopefully the chemistry will come as time uh, passes. Top of two, Demarge Taylor with the wow. windmill layup is good. Wow. Not even off the glass. He just kind of dipsy dude it up there. Like you said, a little windmill shot. Hakeem Summer Shardy for three is good. And a timeout called by Charleston. 13 to six, the score, Brockton on top. Yeah, I think uh, the coach for Charleston High is trying to calm his team down a little bit. Um, get the, hopefully they have the butterflies out of their system by now, 317 left in this first quarter. They should be nice and loose. Brockton doing a good job uh, inside the paint on defense as well as offense. Three minutes and 17 seconds remaining in this first quarter. See Coach Bowen right there talking to his uh, team. He's already got pretty loud out there early on in this uh, in this tournament game. We've heard him shouting to some of his players early on. You probably heard it on um, on your TV sets too. You don't know loud until <laughs> Hugh from Brighton comes to town. He brings coaching to another level. Yes, he does. Taylor to Kaba to E.T. Back to Taylor. Now for Ferbler, his three is short. Ooh, Ferbler should have followed that. That came right back to him. So Dot coming up with the rebound. Turning it over to Ferbler. Ferbler for three does not follow his shot. It's gonna be my pet peeve of the day. Anacel Poriot with it. Gives it to Summer Shardy. Spin around jumper, no good. And the offensive board for number 23, Tyreek Phillips off the glass and in. Good position by Tyreek. He was right there for the uh, offensive boards. Good one touch pass there by Taylor. Now down low for Karan Harris. And turning it over to Summer Shardy. His long two is good. Yeah, this kid can shoot it from the outside. I saw him warming up and uh, he was hitting a lot of his outside shots. Karan Harris down low, stops, pops, no good. 
Golden opportunity missed right there for an easy two. Sadat Arroyo turns it over to Abu Kaba. To Karan Harris off the glass and in. Yeah, nice pass there by Abu Kaba. 15 to 10, the score, Brockton on top. Brockton playing pretty good defense at the moment. Summer Shardy with a short two, no good. Ooh. Offensive board is blocked by E.T. who was hit in the face. Nice block by E.T. Holding the right side of his face still is E.T. Demarge Taylor for three, no good. Number 33, Sedata Royal coming down with the rebound. He gets it over to Phillips. Back to Arroyo, Arroyo driving inside, loses it, out of bounds off of Brocken. Wholesale changes for the boxers. Yeah, this has been a very fast paced game. And you saw those three players that came out were huffing and puffing. So um, both teams are bringing in um, reserves early because both teams are running up and down the court at a very fast pace. Good defense by the Brockton Boxers there. Precious Oko over to Tariq Yaya. Now Demarge Taylor. Tejon Glenn Darty. Back to Yaya, Yaya kicking it out to Taylor. His three is no good, out of bounds. And the, yeah, they hit the cables up there. Summer Shardy gives it to Franklin Uda. Out of bounds off of Brockton. There's only two seniors on this Charlestown team. Yeah, nice, nice transition game right there by the boxers. Yeah, this is a young, towny team. Taylor with one second left is unable to get a shot up. His layup was good, but it will not count. The score at the end of the first quarter, 17 to 10. The Brockton Boxers leading the Charlestown Townies in this second game of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. The winner of which will go on to face the fearsome Boston College High School Eagles who just absolutely destroyed Providence Classical. Yeah, and Brockton's playing good ball right now in that first quarter. I like what I saw, playing very good defense. Charlestown's been kind of throwing the ball. Um, their passes haven't been well, and Brockton has taken advantage of the bad passes, um, doing a good job going to the hole. Not a lot of outside shooting by the boxers, a lot of going to the basket. That's why they have a seven-point lead right now. They're going to the basket and making those um, short points from inside the paint. So you know the boxes have to feel pretty good after that first quarter. And it looks like they just about got a fresh, excuse me, fresh team in there. All five new individuals. Number 13, Jerice Harrison for his first minutes of the game. Hakeem Summer Shardy for three, no good. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound up to Harris. Harris for three, no good. 
Boy, and Sel Poriet coming down with it. Boy, that was way downtown. A block for Glenn Darty, and a steal. I think that'll go to Precious Oko. There's a boxer down. It is number 23. Up and down the court they go. And they called for the travel was number 14, Franklin Ude. Yeah, both teams a little out of control early on here in this second quarter. A little bit of health of Skelter on both ends of the court. Precious Oko to Harris. Harris for Glenn Doherty off the glass and in. Yeah, sweet pass by Harris to the big man underneath. He was ready for the pass. Easy two. Quick jumper for Charlestown is good. That was number 35, Lionel James. Harris coming down with the rebound to Glenn Darty is fouled on his way up. Yeah, nice penetration by Harris. And Darty right there in the thick of things where he's supposed to be underneath that basket getting those rebounds and he went up hard Went back up hard, tried to make the shot, and got fouled. Glenn Darty hitting his first attempt, 20 to 12 the score, Brockton on top. Four off the glass and in Jose Garcia. Yeah, nice job. Townie's getting it down very quickly to the lead man. He took it all the way in. Oko over to Yaya. To Harris, to Oko for three is no good. And it's El Poriet to James and he lays it off the glass and in. Yeah, Charlestown taking advantage very quickly with the missed shot. Got it down in record time to make the easy two. Yaya losing the ball. Poriet picking up the loose change. And Garcia with a three. Yeah, One point ball game, brought it on top. Yeah, Charlestown starting to heat up off the defensive um, steals. Jose Garcia receiving some coaching from the Charlestown bench. No more cheating, and I quote. E.T. getting ready to come back in the game. Yeah, they're going to need um, E.T. back in there to bang them boards. Marge Taylor now joining E.T. From way downtown, Yaya is no good. Ferbler has his shot blocked. I like Ferbler though, going into the hole. Marcino Louis Charles, and Yaya coming out of the game. Taylor to Harris. Bad pass inside the paint. Garcia off the glass and in. Yeah, nice or sweet. That was Poriet. Sweet finger roll. John Glenn Darty off the glass and in. Yeah, Glenn Darty goes in with an, with authority on his left hand side and makes the shot. And it's El Poriet to James. Poriet was fouled and will be at the line for two. You'll see here on the replay, nobody's shy about going to the basket on either side. 
just caught part of the body there. Number 42, Natera James coming into the game. Marge Taylor over to Ferbler. Back to Taylor to Harris, back to Taylor. Back to Harris who was jumped on by Natera James. Yeah, but the Brockton guys got to realize that this is a very quick Charlestown team, so you, those passes have to be direct. Can't be any lollipop lob passes because Charlestown will take advantage. Harris for three is good. Nice job by Harris there. Nice in and out play into the big man, out back out to the uh, guard for the sweet three. James down low is up and in 25-24. The score, Brockton up by one. Looking to add to that is Demarge Taylor. To Jerry's Harris back to Taylor. Taylor driving inside off the glass. No good, a little bit too much mustard on it. Nice penetration. Poriat stops and pops, no good. Uda coming down with the rebound up and in. Yeah, none of the boxer defenders underneath got off their feet to get that rebound. Only one that was up in the air was the big guy for uh, Charlestown. Ferber to Taylor to Harris, back to Ferber. Jerry's Harris, 10 on the shot clock, now seven. Taylor's gonna have to launch one rather to John Glenn Darty off the rim, no good. And Lionel James coming down with the rebound for Charleston. Poriot for a long three, no good. Offensive board for Poriot is blocked by Tejon Glenn Darty. He yeah. taps it to Nabil Ferbler. Nice block there by Glenn Darty. Brockton needs to take advantage. Ferbler fouled on his way in. Anytime you get a defensive steal, it's always nice to uh, get the two points going back down at the other end. You'll see it right there. Just missed a shot. Charleston up 26 to 25. Abu Kaba coming back into the game. He replaces Tejan Glenn Darty. Karan Harris is also back in the game. All five starters for the boxers are on the floor right now. Woo, no foul. Wow. Should have been a call right there. Meanwhile, Ferbler on the other side of the court hits a three. Brockton takes advantage of the no call on the defensive end. Turnaround floater for Tariq Phillips is good. Yep, nice little shovel floater pass by the big man. Good defense right there. Abu Kaba loses it, gets it back over to Nabil Ferbler. Over to Karan Harris. Karan Harris at the line. Minute and 31 seconds to go. Brockton up 29 to 28 over Charlestown. Two for two at the line is Harris. Brockton two point edge. Summer Shardy 
over to James, who was fouled from behind by Abu Kaba. Abu Kaba reached, just caught the hand or the uh, wrist of uh, the county player. James blocked by Etanosa Kunbor. Yep, Kunbor timed that perfectly. You'll see it right here. Number 24 for the boxes. Timed it just perfectly. Summer Shardy trying to drive, turns the ball over to Precious Oko, who gives it right back to the Townies. Number 23 down low is good, Tariq Phillips. The aggressive, aggressiveness of Brockton's defense cost him on that one. Ron Harris called for the travel. Yeah, that's too bad because he had the open lane and took advantage and made the shot, but uh, he did travel. Arroyo for three is no good. Oko fighting in the air out of bounds with number four, Jose Garcia. It will be a Brockton boxer basketball. Yeah, good hustle by both uh, teams there. Good call by the referees. It was Brockton's ball. Twenty-two point five seconds left in the first half. Yeah, All foul. tied up at thirty. Yeah, foul on one of the. Uh, I couldn't see who the foul was on, but it was on Charlestown. Coming down with the rebound, 10 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Demarge Taylor to Oko to ET down low. Strong off the backboard, no good. Two seconds, a long shot is off the top of the backboard, no good. The score at halftime, 30 to 30, and they mentioned it last game, the score going into halftime essentially is zero to zero. Yeah, in a lot of scoring in this first half. You said 30-30, um, fast, very fast paced game by both teams. A lot of turnovers, especially by um, Charlestown. Brockton had a little lapse there when they brought their second squad in, gave uh, Charlestown the, a chance to catch up. But overall, Brockton has played a pretty good game. Well, Brockton has had some identity issues early in the season. It looks like their big three that they need to focus on are Nabil Ferbler, Demarge Taylor, and Karan Harris. Yeah, and, and you're exactly right. The, they're all um, playing good good basketball, good team basketball, good passing. Um, they're going to the hole. Not a lot of threes attempted, but overall it's been a good game for the boxes. Well, 30 to 30 going into halftime. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, yeah, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's <laughs> life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Charleston Townies and the Brockton Boxers in this second game of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. Once again, I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, a very evenly played first half. It was competitive, but there were a lot of mistakes to be had by both teams. Yeah, definitely by both teams, but very entertaining first half. Very fast pace on both sides of the ball. So we look forward to 
second half, I believe, same type of basketball, fast pace. I believe the winner will come out whoever makes the least mistakes. The score coming into the second half, 30 to 30. Marge Taylor with it. Over to Karan Harris in for Etanosa Kunbor. A Kunbor losing it. Demarge Taylor coming up with it. Over to Abu Kaba. Through the legs to Taylor is short jumper, no good. Ooh, and Trusta takes over. Golden opportunity there, Matt. Brockton should have came out of there with two. Summer Shardy in and out. And now Brockton comes away with it. Etanosa Kunbor off the glass, too much mustard. Kaba on the offensive board, up and in, and Brockton strikes first in the second half. Yeah, nice job by uh, Kaba to follow the play, get the easy two. James over to Tyreek Phillips, who was fouled. Anacel Poriet over to Sadat Arroyo, back to Summer Shardy over to Poriet. Now in for Lionel James. One on the shot clock, left second two off the rim, no good. Abu Kaba comes down with the rebound. Demarge Taylor all the way in, windmill off the glass and in. A nice job by Taylor to control his body and not crash into the defender. Made the nice shot. So Don Arroyo to James to Poriet. Long two is good. 34 to 32, the score brought it on top. Kaba coming up with a loose ball, has a lane. Trying to force it into ET, unsuccessful. It is picked up there by Anacel Poriet. Yeah, you're right, he forced it in there and it was Charlestown taking advantage. Nice reverse there by number 23, Tyreek Phillips. Yeah, nice job by Tyreek. Nabil Ferbler over to Demarge Taylor who slipped on the floor and is called for the travel. Brockton needs to cut down on the turnovers. Marge Taylor to Abu Kaba, who is in and has a shot blocked. Karan Harris, excellent follow up to put it off the glass and in. Yes, indeed, nice follow through, stay with the play, and was rewarded with an easy two. Abu Kaba committing his third foul, this one against Sadat Arroyo. Strong in, and off the glass and in was Lionel James. Not great defense on that particular play there. Come out called by Tyreek Phillips of Charleston who is down fighting on the floor for that loose ball. Yeah, that was a nice timeout. He was on the floor, they didn't want the ref call traveling, so they smartly, so one of them called a timeout. I think we just found someone with better shoes in the building than Nabil Ferbler. Here you see on the replay, nice follow through there by number 15 for the boxes. I thought they were Christmas lights over there. So that's what I thought. This this guy has like light up shoes you would have as a kid, but it just looks like a string of LED lights around yes. the entirety of his shoe. It's pretty slick. Pretty slick. 
I can see our very own six-time award-winning director and producer Definitely. and Emmy-nominated Newbie Ratto rocking those shoes. With that beautiful red jacket he has. With the, with the beautiful red jacket. That Hollywood from jacket. The, yes, from the, uh, the Ebony Gala. Yes. He also wore that snazzy, sharp uh, suit jacket to his um, premiere over at the uh, Showcase Cinema when he showed his um, documentary film. And so Pori it in alone, lays it up, no good. Not only did he miss the easy meatball, he missed the whole Italian dinner. <laughs> 36 to 36, Anacel Poirier would have had the lead for Charlestown with a wide open layup. Marge Taylor to Ferbler. Ferbler back to Taylor. Taylor driving in, back out to Ferbler for three is no good. Summer Shardy coming up with a rebound. In for Poriet, stops, pops off the glass and in. Brockton committing yet another turnover. Summer Shardy one-handed fling towards the basket is successful. And Brockton going to call a timeout. 40 to 36, Charleston on top. And Brockton committing turnovers left and right, distributing some gifts that they may have left from the holidays. Yeah, good timeout, and that's why Bowden, Coach Bowden called the timeout. Brockton getting a little bit lazy and careless on the inbound passes, and um, Charlestown took advantage of it. You'll see it right there. Lazy inbound pass, and Charlestown took advantage and got the two. Forty to thirty-six, Charleston on top of Brockton. Four eleven left in the third quarter. Bill Ferber going to inbound this to Demarge Taylor. And a self pour it, rocking down by two. Boy, the, the, um, we're looking at those uh, lit up <laughs> sneakers. Those things are pretty sweet. You like those, huh, Matt? Karan Harris laying it up and in. Nice job there Back by tied at 40. the young Brockton player. Tenosa Kumbor down for Ferbler. Short jumper is good. Nice job there by Ferbler. Little stop and pop. Ron Harris to get Brockton back the lead, 44-42. That Chow sound getting a little careless with the basketball. But that's what Brockton has to do. They have to take advantage once the team gets careless with the basketball. Poriot for three, no good. Following his shot, getting his own rebound, and then dishing it to Phillips, who puts it up off the glass and in. Perfect example of following your shot, making something happen. How about the Taylor to Ferbler for three is good. Brockton doesn't have time to enjoy the shot. They got to get back on defense because Charlestown's really speeding up their transition game. You can see those colorful shoes one of our Brockton players wear. 
the Bill Ferbler. Los Ferblers. Those are Ferblers. And number 35, that is Sagoon Okinlola. Making his way into the game along with Jerese Harris. Phillips getting the rebound high out for Poriot. Now Summer Shardy finds a lane off the glass and in. Nice job, little guy going to the hoop, a little finger roll and was fouled as he put the shot up. He has a chance for a three point play with 2.07 left in this third quarter. So far, very fast paced game with a lot of turnovers on both sides of the court. Offensive board up and in 49-47. Brockton on top. A minute and 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Yeah, nice job there. The big man getting in there. Getting right in with it. Wow. The glass. And in now is number 35, Lionel James. Okinola strong for Harris. Precious Oko back to Harris. In for Oak and Lola. He dishes to Tejan Glenn Darty off the glass and in. Yeah, nice job. Brockton doing a nice job breaking that full court press that Charlestown's putting on him. James Pump fake has, throws it right into the tricep of Glenn Darty and not a pounds. You hear Coach Bowen yelling out, stay man to man. Ooh, nice steal there. Jerees Harris down low off the glass, no good. And on the rebound was number 23, Tariq Yaya off the glass and yeah, in. Nice job by Yaya to follow the play. And made the nice shot. You gotta be ready for those, you gotta be ready. That county play was not ready. Bounced right off his fingertips. I think you'll see this nice team play right here. Yaya following the play and getting the easy two. 40 seconds left in this third quarter. Tight game. Oko to Sunny Oak and Lola over to Yaya. Back to Oko. Oko, who can shoot the outside shot now with five on the shot clock, turns the ball over. Number 10 of the townies, Michael Crittenden Williams. Gee, that was a terrible pass by the Brockton player. He had a golden opportunity to maybe put this game up by uh, five. You might see it right here. Oh, you'll see the uh, foul there by yeah. Sonny Oak and Lola. Charlestown calling a timeout. 19.9 on the clock in the third quarter. Brockton up four, 53 to 49 the score. And I'm sure the coach for Ta Charlestown is letting his players know, let's take the last shot in this third quarter. There's 19 seconds left. There's no reason to force the shot up and give Brockton a chance to come back down the court. So um, take as much time as you can off the off the uh, clock and getting a good shot. Nothing wild, but a good shot. Nineteen point nine left on the clock in the third quarter. Charles down with the ball. Brockton's got to keep their hands up. Crittenden Williams for Poriot over to Summer Shardy. Shot clock is off. Poriot for three is good. 
Nice job by the Townies to get that three-pointer off and in. Good defense. Oko splitting the D, giving it over to Oko and Lola back to Oko. History is no good. Glenn Darty looks like he was fouled on the rebound. No call and the buzzer sounds. The third quarter has come to an end. The score 53-52, a highly competitive game thus far, Miles. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a very good finish this game. Yes, it is. And just like I said at the uh, beginning of the second half, I believe it's whoever makes the um least mistakes because every mistake that each team makes, it seems like the other team takes advantage and gets two points out of it. So Brockton needs to clean up their act as far as their passing. A little bit better passing and um, less mistakes and maybe they can come out of here somehow with a win over this uh, tough 4-1 and one townie team. Miles Precious Oko has done Yeoman's work for the boxes the last couple of minutes to keep them within, really, it's been within a point for the last five minutes. Yeah, you're definitely right. He's really done a great job in there. I believe he's come out, he's coming out for a rest, but he's one of the key factors when uh, he gets in there. It seems like Brockton does a better job with the boards, offensively as well as defensively. Seems to be some discrepancy right now, Matt, about who has the ball. So referee comes over and explains it to the uh, Charlestown coach. No, 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 no. No. You gave it to them. We had it underneath this. Okay, we had it underneath. Okay, that's why I swung with the first half, though. Don't jump over the first half, though. It's going to be a Brockton basketball after some conversation. The refs called a jump ball in the paint and possession went towards Brockton. Well, that was his good townie defense as the Brockton player could not get away from the tough defense of uh, Charlestown. Another turnover. I couldn't even tell you how many turnovers have been committed by both sides. 21, 21. Oko with the turnover in Tariq Yaya going for the dunk and he slams it down. Yeah, brought the crowd to its feet. Got you even a little excited, Matt. <laughs> First dunk we've seen this year for the Brockton Boxers. Why not? <laughs> Harris to Oko for three is no good. Yaya coming down with the rebound. Nice job by Yaya with the offensive rebound. Power move. Oko and Lola took about 17 steps between dribbles. Now that was a power move right there. He was not to be denied. You could hear the fouls on his body from over here. And this is where free throws are very, very important. Okinola missing his first. Fifty-five to fifty-four the score. Brockton on top. Okinola one or two at the line to make that lead two for the boxers. For three is good for number four, Jose Garcia. Wow. Oh, from way downtown. Oko for Oak and Lola. Pass for Tijon to Glenn Darty was intercepted by the Townies. Whoa. A hard foul there. <laughs> Oak and Lola hit the floor along with number 14. Franklin Uda, who is very slow to get up, favoring his right leg. Yeah, and he's not a small guy, but the big man for Brockton came down on him unintentionally. Just some tough play going on out there. A lot of hustling. All for the right to go up against one of the best teams in the state. 
Summer Shardy for three is no good. And Oak and Lola coming down with the rebound. Oak and Lola oh. just absolutely <laughs> decks him football <laughs> style. He lowered the shoulder yes, and that did. boom was felt in Easton. I bet he won't get in front of him anymore. Number 33, <laughs> drawing the foul, Sadat Arroyo. Yeah, he's really hustling out there for the boxes. Good Lord, that either should have been called a block or a charge. charge that should have been something. something. Yes. I mean, it was shoulder to chest, but he just lowered the boom. Here's the dunk, first dunk of the, did you say the year? I believe it was the year. Nice dunk. Would love to get a super slow, like 25% speed look at that crushing hit by Sonny Oak and Lola. As Arroyo hits his first, Charleston now in a bonus situation. Here we'll see it right here. Right at mid-court there, just absolutely decking Summer Shardy. <laughs> Two of two at the line was Arroyo now committing the turnover. Arroyo has it long, two is no good. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound. And now Jerese Harris looking for Yaya, doesn't connect. Bodies flying everywhere. The refs need to get control of this before someone gets hurt. Yeah, very fast paced game. A lot of out of control ball handling. Nice job by the um, referee. Here's the replay. And he, Brockton play was just up under, uh, upended from underneath. A lot of football going on out here. Anisal Poria getting ready to come back into the game. Demarge Taylor over to Tariq Yaya. Back to Taylor. Over to Harris for three is good. It's a big shot right there with six minutes left in this ball game. A ton and a half of lead changes in the second half. Arroyo to Uda to Summer Shardy over to Garcia and his three is good. Anything you can do, I can do better. 62 to 61 the score, Charlestown now on top. Yeah, coach was looking for a travel there, but no call. For three, no good. Summer Shardy coming down with the rebound. Charleston has numbers up court and fouled by Dijon Glenn Darty was number 35, Lionel James. Yeah, you can see the foul on the arms of the uh, shooter. Nice job by our tech team downstairs in the booth. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound, tapping it over to Demarge Taylor. Taylor all the way in, kicking it out for Yaya. Yeah, over Yaya. To Harris. Smartly brings it back outside. Glenn Darty in for ET. ET for Jerese Harris. Doesn't connect, and a backcourt violation called against Brockton. A number of substitutions. When news breaks, BCA breaks it. We've just learned that former Severian Hawk and son of Vince Wilfork, as Nabil Ferbler has this all the way in off the glass. No good. ET coming down with the rebound, stepped out of bounds. Ooh, golden opportunity miss, miss right there. DeAndre Holmes Wilfork, the former Severian Hawk. He's been arrested for drug possession. He had 318 grams of cocaine during wow. a routine traffic stop right outside of Houston. Wow. Yeah, that, that's too bad. We just, I don't know we if you We just noticed. saw him two years ago. And uh, Vince got a new um, TV commercial out now. I'm trying to remember um, 
what it is, but it's a very, um, very cute commercial. It's very clever. Bill Ferbler for a long two, no Ooh, good. Where's the foul? Marge Taylor coming up with the steal. Up and down the court they go. Wow. E.T. down low. Wow, they're gonna call a travel. We saw it right here, great cam camera angle. And um, Brockton gets the ball back. They need to get a basket here. Tied his basketball game up. Charlestown coach, tough on his players. Well, Franklin Uda was given <laughs> very specific instructions to get out there and rebound. Now, Mad Dog, am, am I looking at what I'm looking at? Those you uh, are. Lit -ups, the, the lit up sneakers, sneakers are now are changing, changing colors. colors. Like on somebody's house with their Christmas lights. Ferbler for three yes. is good. Yes. Speaking of colorful shoes. Big shot right there by the Brockton uh, forward. Charlestown calling a timeout. 64 to 63, Brockton on top. Just about half of a quarter remaining. Yeah, Brockton really needs to shore up on their passing. They can't afford uh, too many more rum. Too many uh, mistakes as far as giving the ball up. Turnovers. Again, right now, like I said before, whoever I believe whoever makes the least turnovers, the least mistakes in this basketball game might just come out of here with a win. Three fifty-five left to go in the fourth quarter. A lot of time left in this basketball game. Ferbler's three, as you see on the replay. Nice. Had some English on it. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Big shot. And Brox is going to need more of those. Summer Shardy being pressured by Peron Harris. Number 23 was fouled on his way up. That was Tyreek Phillips who will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, they're gonna call it on Doherty. You might see it right here. He comes in and gets him on the arm. Good call. Good replay. So for two at the line, Glenn Darty over to Demarge Taylor who loses it and stepped out of bounds. Tough break right there for the boxes. Again, they can ill afford to make those type of mistakes. Because this Charlestown team will take advantage of your mistakes. Corey it to Arroyo. Arroyo getting the pick from Lionel James. Loses the ball, and it's out of bounds off of Etanosa Kumbor for Brockton. Yeah, I don't think the Brockton players actually knew that the, the ball was um, just laying right there for the pickings until it was too late. Another foul on Glenn Darty. Again, free throws are critical now with 325 on both ends of the court. Can Charlestown take advantage? And right now they can. Look at the replay right here. 
on the call. Again, it is a foul on Glenn Daugherty. One for two at the line, and coming out of the game is Phillips. Coming into the game is Franklin Uda, the 6'6 six, six junior forward. Marjorie Taylor over to Karan Harris. Harris working his way in off the glass and in. Ooh, that was a beautiful move. He felt he could take advantage, and he did. Went to his left hand side and used him. So Shardy to Poirier for three, no good. Oh, Summer Shardy gonna call for the push out of bounds. And actually it should have been called out of, out of bounds because when the ball was shot, it hit the top of the board, of the backboard, and there was no whistle. So, you'll see it on the replay. Look at where the ball lands. Goes up high, boom, different replay. But a nice shot there by the uh, Brockton Boxers, what you just saw. Boxers with a two point lead with 2.58 in this ball game, Matt. Marge Taylor boxes up by 266 to 64 the score. Glenn Darty adds to that lead. Ooh, nice spin move by the big man underneath. Michelle pour it over to Sadat Arroyo. Arroyo back to Poirier, his three no good. Glenn Darty coming up with the rebound and over to Demarge Taylor. Taylor to Ferbler. Ferbler backing up, resetting the boxer offense. Yeah, nice job. Reset the boxer offense. Take a little time off the clock. Taylor over for Karan Harrison for Glenn Darty out to Ferbler. Seven on the shot clock. Brockton's gonna move two minutes on the game clock. Three, two, Ferbler on his way in off the glass and in. Oh, that was a sweet move by Ferbler. Brockton using that 30 second clock to perfection. 70 to 64, Brockton on top. Uda down low off the glass and in. Nice, nice feed underneath to the big man. Demarge Taylor handing it off to Nabil Ferbler. And Brockton calling a timeout. A minute 30 seconds left to go in this one. See Excellent Ferbler. effort there by yeah. Nabil Ferbler. Uses it and used the backboard very nicely. Good timeout by Coach Bowen. You know, get your team, talk to your team, let them know what they have to do and what mistakes not to make in this last minute and 30 seconds left. This is your game to take. You've got a four point lead, it's yours for the taking. You just can't make any mistakes. Again, the winner of this game earns the right to go up, quite possibly the best team in the state. And if they're not, I don't want to know who is. The Boston College High School Eagles. If the game ended today, right now, that would be Brockton in a rematch of about two weeks ago. A minute 30 seconds left, 19 on the shot clock. Brockton has the ball. Our friend with the light up shoes seemingly did not pack enough batteries. He didn't charge them up enough. Looks like they've died. Yeah. Looks like it was kicking out a lot of energy. And those were LED lights. Those were, those were the fancy LED lights. Ron Harris. To Etenosa Kumbor, Etenosa Kumbor spinning over to Demarge Taylor. 10 on the shot clock. Taylor to Ferbler with five on the shot clock. Ferbler underhanded finger roll in and out. Oh, Uda was, coming down with the rebound. That was pretty. Just didn't fall in the cylinder and back out. Poriet for three is good and we're back to a one point ball game. And Charlestown calling a timeout. Wow, that was a big three by number five. Poria, I believe, comes down. Ice cold water in his veins and hits that big shot to bring the uh, townies within one. 
and they have no more timeouts. Charleston has no timeouts remaining. They're down by one point with a minute and five seconds to go, 70 to 69. We want to thank our cast and crew for tonight's festivities. Start up here this time, it's easier. On camera, the president, the doctor, the big tuna, Patrick Leese. Great job. John Pinto on camera. And the six time award winning director and producer and Emmy nominated Nubi Ratto. All doing a great job out here with this fast paced action. Down in the truck, we have Mike the Postman Simmons. He's ringing twice today. Ringing twice today. Harris off the glass and in. Uh, very nice job, very nice job. Mike the Postman Simmons is ringing twice at the moment, delivering on instant replay and directing. Well, he's doing a great job down there. Here you'll see this foul body on the body. By Glenn Darty. Glenn nice Darty. Yeah. Of course, Anna Coots on graphics. Doing a great job with the graphics. Paul Mandeville was here for the first three quarters of the game. Yeah, he's so busy. So busy. In demand. Fifty-one point two seconds left. E.T. ripping down the rebound and out of bounds off of Charlestown. Fresh shot clock for the boxers. Big rebound by E.T. there to give Brockton the possession. Now they need to get that ball into one of the guards. Bill Ferbler is fouled by Hakeem Somershardi. Boxes are not in um, the bonus situation yet. Forty-one seconds remaining on the game clock. Fresh thirty for Brockton on the shot clock. Nabil Ferbler to inbound this. Yep, Brockton needs just to. Run down some of this 30 seconds. Etanosa Kumbor to Ferbler, back to Taylor. Rockton gonna waste out as much of this clock as physically possible. Marjay Taylor over to Ferbler. Coach timeout called by Brockton. Yep, Coach Bowen using his timeouts wisely. Double bonus situation for Charlestown, Brockton Couple fouls away from a one and one. Now you know Coach Bowen's in a tight game. When you see his his red sweater sleeves when go the sleeves up. Sleeves go up. Then now, I've know. only seen him completely lose the sweater once a couple of years yeah. ago when Brighton came to town. <laughs> but he's uh, serious right now in his coaching mode, trying to guide his players out of here with a win this evening in the first round of this holiday tournament. <laughs> Twenty-seven point three seconds left in regulation, of course. Yes. Seventy-two to sixty-nine. Brockton on top of the townies of Charleston. Glenn Darty out to Ferbler. Fifteen on the shot clock. Twenty-four on the game clock. And Ferbler's fouled by Hakeem Summer Shardy. That is the last foul that Charleston had to give. Oh, Charlestown's done a good job um, in this second half, not getting into foul trouble. Still, Brockton's only three points up, so they need to make a basket or at least run down this clock some and make it real tough for uh, Charlestown to come back down and make a shot. Summer Shardy has four fouls against him. Twenty-two point seven seconds left to go. 
one possession ball game. Brockton up by three. I think the I think the townies took coach's words a little bit too literally there. He said, to find your man right now, they all walked into the Brockton huddle. E.T. followed by Sadat Arroyo. And that was a good foul. If E.T. is going to go through the free throw line, foul one of the big men. He is one for four at the line so far, a one and one situation. Yeah, he needs to take his time, at least make one of these shots. Well, it's one, it's one on one, so. Big shot right there by the it's big his man. First two possession ball game, 73 to 69 the score. Brockton up by four. Brockton is going to send nobody in for the rebound, get everyone back for defense. And two for two at the line, a big two shots there for Etanosa Akunbor. Yeah, nice job by the big man at the free throw line. Makes both free throws. Coriot for three, no good. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound. Over to Demarge Taylor, and he turns the ball over. Five seconds on the clock. Brockton takes over. They're just going to hold it. Demarge Taylor as the buzzer sounds, and Brockton gets the five point victory 74 to 69. Miles, that came down literally to the last minute. Yes, it did. And, and hats off to the Brockton boxers. And that last two or three minutes, they didn't make a lot of mistakes. They played smart, crashed the boards, made a few steals, and put the pressure on the townies to um, make mistakes. And they came out of here with a uh, five-point win. Miles, a couple of very big free throws by Etenosa Kumbor in the final moments to bring the boxer lead to five. Yes, and, and it was nice to see the boxers do a good job on the free throw line especially down the stretch when it really counted. The pressure was on, and it was really nice to, nice to see the big man get up there, Aurora, and make those two free throws to basically make it a two-possession game. So it um, looks like Brockton gets the, um, gets the winner of, um, basically gets the um, game against the BC High Eagles, and now we go over to Matt talking to Coach Bowen. With BC High awaits you tomorrow, what are you going to say to the guys? Well, I'm going to say that uh, we've got to play better than we did last time against them, but we know their team better than we did last time. Uh, we know those two guys have to be stopped, and somebody's going to have to step up and do it tomorrow night. A very competitive affair here tonight against Charlestown. It literally came down to the last minute. A couple of timeouts called, a couple of big free throws, big turnovers. What made your guys uh, get the victory? Well, we made a couple of big plays tonight, um, and I think it helped that we had 10 guys playing because everybody contributed a little bit. I thought Cherise Harris coming off the bench, and I thought Sonny Okanola coming off the bench. Both of them gave us big lifts when we went uh, looked a little tired. Uh, and the end of the game, we made the plays, and E.T. made those two foul shots to wrap it up there. That's very big. A very physical game. Your team was able to hang with Charleston. Well, we like a physical game, we really do. Uh, we've got big people and we want to play and we want the referees to let us play. And uh, I was a little worried in the second half though when we had 10 fouls and they only had three. That was, that was worrying me. Luckily they didn't get to take advantage really of the foul situation. Well, it's Brockton and BC High going at it in a rematch for tomorrow's championship game in the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. The final score from Staff Gymnasium tonight, 74 to 69, Brockton over Charlestown. For everybody here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, we'll see you tomorrow night.